All right, let's integrate uh, this rational function using the chain rule. So when we get going on this, what we wanna do is we want to pick out a u to substitute in. So I'm gonna choose u to be the denominator because it has a higher power. So 10x squared plus 5x plus three. Next, what we wanna do is take the derivative of both sides here. So we get one du, derivative with respect to u, and then on the right-hand side, we're gonna get 20x plus five, and we put a dx with this. Derivative with respect to x. All right, so looking up at our original function, what we'd like to do is the entire denominator is gonna get replaced with our u. In the numerator, it would be nice if we saw 20x plus five. So to get there, what we wanna do is do a little bit of factoring in this situation where we can say, the numerator, we can factor out a three from each of those terms, leaving us with 20x plus five. Dx is still off to the side. And at this point, we still have the same denominator. That hasn't changed yet. From here, what we'd like to do is we'd like to start substituting in. So the entire denominator is gonna get replaced with u. And we're gonna be able to replace the 20x plus five and the dx with one du. So the three comes along that we had factored out multiplied by one du. Now, usually we don't write that one, but that's where it's coming from. It's from uh, our derivative after we had picked out u and taken the derivative of both sides. From here, we just need to integrate. So the three, the constant can come out in front and we're trying to find the antiderivative of one over u du. So you may be thinking, oh, it's the power rule. I can write that with u to the negative first power. But if we were to use the power rule, increasing a negative one by one, we're gonna get a zero. So this works out to be the special case where it's gonna be the natural log of the absolute value of u. And then we also want to include a plus C for there could be a constant added on to the end. Okay, we're almost there, but we're in terms of U. The original started in terms of X. So to finish this up, what we're going to do is go back to our last statement, do the natural log of instead of U, we can replace that back in with 10 X squared plus five X plus three with the plus C at the end. All right, we're back in terms of X. Now this was an indefinite integral, meaning we didn't have bounds of integration. If we did have bounds, we could substitute them back in here and do our subtraction. All right, so as you're doing these, um, a lot of times it is gonna turn out being the denominator that works out to be what you're gonna use for you. Um, but sometimes it just takes practice to get comfortable with these. Um, good luck to you as you're working on integrating. Till next time.